Good morning, everyone. My name is Haley Arias, and I'm here with Sarah Sessions and Kamari Uk. And today we will be talking about a project called Field Day Fun. So for our needs assessment, we noticed three needs in the West and the Volusia County with children. Our first one was physical activity. The lack of outdoor play has caused high obesity rates here in Volusia County, and outdoor play really has a lot of nice, good benefits and development in physical and mental health. Because of COVID, kids and children have been stuck in their rooms, staring at their screens, and they would rather play video games rather than going outside and playing. And just in the education system, they have six over six hours of screen time and more after school and all of that. And doctors recommend only two to four hours. So they're sometimes receiving three to four times that recommended rate. And a benefit of outdoor play is it helps mental health by giving more serotonin levels and just a better self-confidence and reduces anxiety and depression just by playing outside. And then a statistic we found was Florida is the 22nd out of all 50 states in child obesity, which is super high. For our proposal, our plan was to implement a field day. And by doing this, it helped us reach our goals of fighting obesity rates in children by having them active for at least 90 minutes at our field day events. And while they're being active, they might find something that they really care about and not know that it was healthy. So they're creating lots of habits of healthy living. And this also allows these children to establish new passions. Many of the children we worked with came from troubled backgrounds or troubled homes. So they're not used to playing on a club volleyball or basketball team in the summer, which costs a lot of money. And so when they get to try a sport, maybe that they've never played before and they find out that they really love it, they get to continue that sport or whatever it is into the future and it can keep them out of trouble and also keep them healthy at the same time. So we partnered with Heritage Middle School in Deltona, Florida, and they are sponsored by Food Brings Hope, which is an after-school program for these children that provides a hot meal and helps them with their educational needs and puts them in science Olympiads, math leads, and make sure that they get their homework done. We worked with Ms. Sharon Brown, who is a sponsor from Food Brings Hope, and she helped us implement our prop, our, excuse me, our plan into play by um, showing that their Food Brings Hope, their after school program doesn't have a lot of physical education. It's more focused on um, ed regular education. So being able to put in this field day was very beneficial to them as well. Our timeline uh, consisted of three meetings, which were from February 9th to February 20th. And this is where we just sat down with Ms. Brown and we talked about our goals for the project and she gave us some feedback to help us uh, make our project more beneficial. And then we implemented our first of three field days from February 25th until March 25th. Our team roles, my role was communicating with Ms. Brown. This included being at every single meeting and also getting her feedback and reassessing our goals and making sure that um, our project fit everyone's time. And Haley's was scheduling the field days. I had to make sure she was, she worked around our spring break and the student spring break and finding Fridays that everyone was gonna be able to be there for. And finally, Sarah's role was the selection of events and coordination of the events. So she planned out the whole field day event on what sports we were gonna be doing because we took a poll on the first orientation field day on what the students wanted to see and what they wanted to play and what their favorite games were, sports. So she made sure that everyone's ideas were included. So like I just said, our first field day was more of an introduction day. We got to make a lot of really close bonds with these children, got to know everyone's name. We had snacks and hung out at the park and we told them how we wanted to give them a fun field day where they could play whatever game they wanted just letting them feel like they created this for their after school program um this is the day that we took the poll and we got to play games like tag and red rover for our second field day we kind of split it up into two separate groups first we played basketball and kickball which they really liked running around and kind of having that more like competitive environment and then second 45 minutes, we played soccer, four square, jump rope, and we got to learn some of the new jumping rhymes. 
the third field day, which was the following Friday, we had to stay indoors due to inclement weather. It was kind of raining and dreary, and it just wasn't a good day to be outside at all. So we did dodgeball, volleyball indoors. After a bit, we took off the net and we were able to have the whole gym open and kind of roll around on those scooters. They had partners where they like pull each other around and pushed them around. We have a stock photo to showing what it was. We also did some other games and we were able to connect to the speakers in the entire gymnasium and play songs that they really liked. Okay, sorry, I was muted. But for our reflection, starting with sustainability, uh, we are actually in the final process of implementing our field days into Food Brings Hope's summer school program that they have. And it starts in the middle of June and ends in the middle of July. It's six weeks long. And they go to school from Monday to Friday from eight to two. And we're trying to have four of those six Fridays be field days. And personally, my reflection was being able to be flexible, especially with children, because they have so many different needs than more than adults do, and creating better people skills and having patience, because again, we were working with children, which is something I'm not used to working with, which um, taught me a lot of different, like coping, like helping children deal with um, different problems that they have, and being more of a people person. So for me, what I learned out of this experience was on how to collaborate with adults and kids. Every individual is different and has their own different types of moods and whatever. So being able to adapt and collaborate with others is a really good skill to have. And I also honed on to my problem solving skills. So like for the rainy day, I ha we had to like adapt, move everything inside. It didn't go what we planned. So we had to problem solve and fix it to like the situation. And for me, these are really important skills to have because my future endeavor is to go into law school. So this would be, this would help me in the future. For me, I picked up on my communication, organization, and time management skills. Um, I'm hoping to go into the medical field and continue at my graduate school. So communication is really important in talking with other specialties and also organization and time management just with a busy schedule and getting everything done in a timely manner and making sure I do it well. And this is our abstract. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your day. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.